Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 732, and the topic today is about, um, well, it's about the fact relationships are work and who works harder. And I don't mean this about the jobs or the housekeeping. I'm talking about the personal stuff, so I'll get to that in a moment. Before I jump into that fully, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and where I'm coming from. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women and also caused, the, caused inspired these talks over two years ago, which are called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart, abbreviated to MFTM, which is why you pretty can figure out what it stands for. Um, most of my talks are about love and relationships, some about self-love, some about relationships, and this one's about the relationships, um, but not gender specific. So this is not going to be about men or women. It's about both because this is really about the, I was going to say the equality of relationship, but also something else. So as I said, relationships are work and who, work, you know, do you work harder than your partner basically? Because, and again, I don't mean who does the housework and who goes out to work at the job. I don't mean that sort of work. I mean, they do the, you, you're doing the emotional work and the um, personality, no, that's what I'm looking for. Interpersonal skills work, put it that way, to be a better partner. And I've watched relationships where one person has been diving into seminars, into teachings, working with a coach, reading books, all sorts of stuff like that, and their partner does nothing. And for some reason, that's okay. And personally, I don't agree with that. Now, there is a caveat, a slight caveat on that, which is where the person who is not doing anything has been doing this work previously, because what I'm going to lead into, by the way, is if you're single, this is a perfect time to do the work. And I'll tell you what that work is in a, in a moment. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and you and your partner are at different levels of um, self-appreciation, self-support, self-forgiveness, um, communication skills again interpersonal things I'm trying to think of, I'm looking, trying to come up with a good distillation to give you but basically being in a relationship is not something we just okay here we go yeah <laughs> I was waiting for you to drop in it took a moment relationship is not where you're basically just cruising along coasting along now some people look at relationship as somewhere where you get to be with somebody and you get to relax and do nothing and just hang out and cruise the rest of your days I was going to say good luck with that, but that works for some people. So maybe you're looking for a relationship like that, you'll find somebody who matches that, in which case nothing ever changes. And if you want static, I'm going to say boring, well they just did, um, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Non-transformed and not growing, which I don't know the negative, the, the other way for that. Relationships, so be it. But I'm talking about people who are basically looking for a relationship that's going to thrive and grow and become a wonderful experience to be in. If that's what you want, it requires commitment and it requires effort on both individuals' parts. So I, that's what I'm calling it work. And, I'm not, and it's not work in a hard, a hard sense. It's a work in actually how to be more, more joyful, more effective, more connected, more intimate, more wonderful in relationship. That stuff sounds pretty good to me. But the thing is, sometimes you'll find yourself in a relationship with a partner who is not doing what you're doing in terms of you're choosing to grow and become a better partner whether you do tantra teachings or you're doing personality skill learnings or you're doing seminars and they're doing nothing and it feels a bit out of balance actually that way around i guess <laughs> i'm watching my own camera how to position it and that is one of those things where when stuff happens upsets arguments challenges disappointments maybe bad sex in bed the person who's done the work may feel a little bit um frustrated with the other person who hasn't done the work so to speak because if you have both done different work and stuff because upsets do happen even if you've done the work or whatever the work is when something happens you'd be willing to be able to connect communicate and own responsibility because part of doing the work is being responsible for your part participation in that relationship i'm giving you lots of different keys along the way i don't have i, I don't have a summarized list my apologies i didn't prepare this beforehand because I'm, I'm not apologizing because I never do prepare my talks. These are all spontaneous. In fact, this topic came out of watching or rather rem remembering um, my talk from a year ago, which is about relationships at work, which I was talking that one about, are you up for the work? This is not want to talk about the disparity of that because I realized there's more to this conversation even though it was a year ago. 
And by the way, if you want to watch that broadcast, it's on my wall earlier today in replay form from last year. So to get back to the point, I believe that relationships are going to push your buttons, as I've said before in other talks. In fact, the interview that, interview that you had yesterday on the uh, Living Your Transformed Life semin uh, Summit I'm on, I talked about how there's a lot of mirrors in relationships, that when you're in a relationship, your partner's going to show back to you parts of yourself maybe you're not so happy with. And it's not like they're going to do like hold up a mirror and say, here, look at yourself. It's more about the experience through their interaction with you, yourself, in a different light. That's a blessing, and it can feel like a curse, because <laughs> the blessing is you get to see yourself in a new way, from outside yourself. The curse is you have to face up to the fact that maybe you're not perfect. And here's a little clue. In this, this context, none of us are perfect. And in fact, if, you're partner, if, you're partner, if your partner doesn't say anything to you, as in guidance, feedback, encouragement, um, I hate to say criticism, but giving yourself feedback, maybe they don't care enough. Yeah, maybe they don't care enough. Because if you care about each other, wouldn't you want the best for each other? That's my idea of relationship. If you want the best for each other, wouldn't you want to also support them in being better than they've been so far? Yes, it's nice to accept people where they are, but relationships aren't about static and being where they are. Relationships are about growing. One of the things I talk about is a, um, well, I've said this before, I was talking about a um, Billy Joel song, which is Don't Go Changing, to try and please me. This is the thing. Relationships are not about pleasing each other by changing. It's about growing and becoming better so you please each other and please yourselves. In fact, his song is a good one because if you, read, if you continue the lyrics on, it talks about evolving and growing and changing. That's part of what a healthy relationship is about, is that a relationship, when you come together, you grow together. Not necessarily grow together, but grow, if you're watching the side, we're growing up together, so to speak. And that's conscious relationship. Now, this is going to drop in as a little hint, is that if you're single, it's a great, I mean, there's a sort of duality just came through. Okay, so one part of your single, it's a good chance to do the work on yourself, to go get support, whether it's through coaching, hint, hint, or through seminars, books, teachings, etc., etc. And also, when you're in a relationship, you're going to find stuff comes up that you never covered when you were single. That's just the way life is. Because when you're single, you get to work on yourself and look at yourself and reflect in the mirror and do all these different things. But as I said earlier, your partner is going to be that um, organic um, mirror to your own behaviors, which those things that you do in a relationship, you generally won't do in public or outside with a coach, just to be clear. So, some things you can work on when you're a single, some things you're going to work on when you're in a relationship, just because that's the way we are as human beings. And I'm not saying it's just you, it's everybody, I believe, does that. So my encouragement to you is to look at your relationship, if you're in a relationship, to look at your relationship as a chance, as a playground, as a lab to experiment in, so to speak, although that can get dangerous with chemicals and stuff. <laughs> but as a playground to explore relationship context, to really develop who you are as a person, and between you develop the relationship you have with each other. That's a wonderful way to live, to thrive, to explore, to expand and have a wonderful relationship. I encourage that. I invite that. I recommend that. Now, I know that for some cases, because I have friends of mine who have kids, that was the expansion. <laughs> and it was where things have gotten bigger and challenging and everything else with kids because they can put a whole other level and do put a whole other level of input into that exploration of relationship you have. Now, um, there was a two pieces that came through the duality. So, in relationship, outside of relationship. When you are single, yes, it can be a lot easier because you're not dealing with somebody else's stuff, somebody else's personality, and they're not dealing with yours. But it's a really good time to do this work, as I mentioned, to step into a place where you become more of a, more of a, a, a um, self-accountable, responsible person, where you love yourself enough, first of all, so you don't settle for less than you already have, there's another key, by the way. When you honor and respect yourself and really love yourself up, you support yourself and you encourage who you are to be a more conscious, caring human being, maybe than you've been to this point, it makes you more attractive too for the sort of relationship you really want to be in. So that's a double win on that one. There was something else that coming through. Where did it go? Hang on a second. It's, it's really annoying that happens. It's like you get the information, the ideas, the input comes through, and then it goes out the window again. Um, in families, having kids, that part we did, yes. 
when you're single do the work yourself yes oh there we are so again when you're single it's a good time to do the work on yourself now sometimes sometimes when you meet somebody new it's tempting to make sure you don't show them all of your reality you put on a certain presentation maybe you like hide away some of the more um, esoteric stuff so to speak when you meet somebody it's sometimes tempting to just play nice and be very surface and not go deep I suggest and encourage and invite you to actually do the opposite I don't mean to like just download everything on them the first date no what I'm suggesting though is that you are willing to talk about anything and everything on any level with that person once you get to know them because if you do that you'll know if they're worth hanging out with or not and if they're not willing to go there walk away it's not necessarily my most recommended dating tip but it's certainly a way of looking at relationships as a place to really get clear of what you want to have in a relationship partnership where you want to, where you want to go and what you want to have I, I have friends of mine when they go on the first date they basically give their partner a sort of bullet point list of like this is what I'm looking for in partnership if you fit great if you don't let's go walk away there's no um, wiggle room in that there's no like just make it nice and polite and we'll see where it goes in three months they're clear up front this is what they want and if you don't fit it bye so it may be a worth, worthwhile way of playing because if you really want a healthy relationship why not choose healthy from the beginning why not be fully prepared and fully engaged and fully transparent with somebody you meet so you know that if they're up for the game or up for the, the game up for the relationship or not because they might be but then again they might be scared of their wits in which case you can go bye bye <laughs> so there's a little, little taste of that to understand that relationship is a definite choice and it does require both partners to participate and play and work at the same level if you're single and you want to do this work I've I mentioned that a few times I, I have been promoting and sharing and inviting because I started this on Saturday because Saturday was my, is, my, is my anniversary J January, June 1st, 81 is when I arrived in this country um, a long time ago now yeah, it's 38 years so what I've been putting out as a little invitation to friends and, to, and through my email list as well my list got the invitation on Saturday as well as it is the anniversary 38 years since I got here I'm offering a pay what you want 38 minute <laughs> I thought 38, play with the numbers um, private coaching session with me this week it's my gift and my invitation and my recommendation to you if you want to get some support guidance clarity understanding about love and relationships you can grab one of those message me for information I'll put a link in the comments you can check it out but if you're in a relationship I do invite you to look at how you can grow together and become um, more effective that's not really where I'm focusing my energy so I'm not going to suggest you reach out for support there but if you want to you can but if you're single is where I primarily work with people but if you are looking to do that have that intention and again be clear with your partner what you're looking for and how you want to grow together because the partnerships that grow together thrive together and that for me is the best way to have a relationship so um, again I, this is a this is an extension of what I talked about last year because again I had the replay showed up in my, in my news feed today when I talked about relationships our work this is about the level of work you want to play at I hope this made some sense to you and I did drop a few little truth teachings and bombs through that hopefully that helped you as well and again, if you want to get some support and guidance, I'm offering a special 38-minute um, pay-what-you-want private session with me this week. Um, grab one now because there's still a few left. And uh, I'll see what happens. But I appreciate you watching. This is my daily break, Facebook Live, by the way. Every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time, I come home my personal page and drop these little truth bombs and other sorts of good little knowledge. Um, this is something I committed to a long time ago, and I just keep going. So today's what, seven, episode 732. Got more to go. Um, so if you haven't seen me do this before, you can find somewhere around this screen there's a notification button or something that says notify you next time I go live. Click on that so you make sure you'll see my notifications when I go live tomorrow because every day. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before,